Hi, I'm Jeff Stiers, Precision Farming Specialist with Berkey's Farm Stores, and today I'm going to show you how to load a prescription into the Pro 6 and 700 displays. One of the most common problems that we have when importing prescriptions into the Pro 6 or 700 is the fact that whoever makes the prescription, whether it be the grower or the fertilizer dealer, the agronomist, uh, they, they mistakenly put multiple files on the root directory of the data card. Um, if you can see this right now, we've got a uh, file with a .cn1 uh, file extension at the end. This is the file that the Pro Display uses when it boots up. It looks for uh, this file, which includes your prescription data, some of your machine settings, and your calibrations. And if there are multiple .cn1 files on the root directory, the display becomes confused and does not know which one to load. So when creating prescriptions, we need to make sure that we create the prescriptions and group them all into one file that can then be placed on the data card and placed into the display. If you realize that there's more than one .cn1 file on the root directory of the data card, you can contact your Berkey's Precision Farming Specialist and we can review your file setup and compress those into one CN1 file so that way the display is not confused when it looks for that file during startup. Now that we verified we have one CN1 file on the data card, with the display powered off we need to insert this into the side, then boot the system up. From the main screen of the Pro 700 display we first need to go to work condition. Under work condition we need to go to the layer tab. On the layer we need to create a work condition. I'm going to call this work condition corn. Once I've created the work condition I need to assign the layer. We're going to be planting so I want to assign the layer seed. Now the product box becomes populated. You can click on that and if you've got a product previously set up you can select it. Otherwise you can click the link below and I can show you how to set up a product. And once we have this we're done. Now we need to go to our, back to our main screen and click on the performance button. Under performance you've got a, a list of uh, tabs and you need to go over to the RX setup, our prescription setup tab. The first field is the auto reload RX. So what this is is when you cycle the power on the display, shut down everything, when you start up the next time it will automatically reload the last prescription that you were in. We come in and we select our grower. For our example, we're using Berkey as the grower. We come in and select our farm, which I've already created as home place, and the field is 160. You notice our layer is seed and our product is corn, so we're set up correctly there. If you come down, if everything is set up correctly then, the prescription bo box down here has a drop down arrow. You can click on that, and there is the file that was loaded on the data card. We select that. Our out of zone rate one becomes highlighted. This is the rate at which we will plant if the planter leaves the boundary of the field. So if our GPS is off just a little bit, we will default to a rate of 34,000 seeds per acre, K seeds per acre. Now that we've loaded our prescription, we can go back and click on the run screen. We can pull up our planter map under run four and give it a second, it'll load the prescription map. Once our map is loaded, it doesn't look like a whole lot. It just looks like a bunch of squiggly lines in the field. We need to go in and edit our prescription now. So we go in and choose the layer. We come down to RX style. Right now it's set to outline, which doesn't mean a whole lot to me. So if I change this to color and we hit OK, now our field is in color. This, this will give us the zones. Right now it's only showing one color really, so then we go into our legend and we edit our legend. The reason why it's showing only one color is because all the legends are the same at zero seeds per acre. So I want to start with my maximum and enter it 38,000, 36,000, 34,000, 32,000, and I'll just get put in 30,000 as my minimum. I hit OK. Now I go back to my prescription screen and the zones have been defined by the different colors for each uh, population range. Once you see this, you know that your prescription is set up properly. 
When you go to the field, there will be an icon in the field showing which zone you are currently in. And as you go across those zones, you should notice the planter changing population rates. This has been how to correctly load your prescriptions into the Pro 6 and 700 displays.